All right, everyone, we can go ahead and get started once again. Thank you so much for hopping on and joining our Skyslope Masterclass. Today, we're going to touch on our newest features. So really excited just to highlight some of the new things that our product team has been working on. Quite a few of these are requests made directly from our team. Uh, of course, our agents are the reason why we create and further build out different value adds within the Skyslope platform. So to wrap up our training, I'll show exactly where to drop your ideas on really what our newest feature could be. To get us started, we'll go ahead and break down what we'll cover here during today's session. The first thing that I want to highlight are DigiSign updates. So we have quite a few features that have been new and improved within our Skyslope DigiSign tool. Next, we'll move into our new NHD provider. So we're really excited for those that are in states that use a natural hazard disclosure. We have our NHD uh, that is going to be uh, fully integrated into your Skyslope account. So you can order those directly through your Skyslope platform. Last but not least, we have our new escrow and title partnerships. So I want to show you exactly how to enter in your escrow and title contacts so that you can easily default them. So when you have a client and you're shooting over that pre-open email, uh, you already have that set up ready to go. So saving yourself a few clicks. Now, if any of those things don't sound familiar, rest assured, we'll cover them during today's session. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the chat feature. I'll wrap up our training by answering any questions that come in. Our session today will run about 15 minutes or so. I'll hang out a few extra minutes then again for that Q&A. So hang out with me here. I will be your tour guide. We'll also upload a copy of today's recording to our Skyslope page. So that's going to be found on learn.skyslope.com. Now, before I dive into my Skyslope demo account, I simply like to highlight for those who are just joining us uh, that we have our three different sides of the Skyslope suite. So our Skyslope transaction management platform, that is where your broker's logo is up at the top left corner, customized with your color scheme. That's where you're really keeping track of those documents with those color-coded checklists. Now, we also, of course, have Skyslope Forms. This is our full-service digital forms platform available within almost all 50 states here. If we haven't reached your state yet, no worries. We're coming soon. And last but not least, we have Breeze. Now, this is currently available in five different states. It's going to be California, Nevada, Oregon, Washington, and Texas. And this is going to simplify that nice uh, disclosure process when you've got those seller disclosures with the tiny little check boxes, text fields, really smooths out that. Um, think of TurboTax in a way. Instead of having your clients fill out an SBQ or a TDS on a legal form, we'll walk them through that process. So we're skipping over questions not relevant to their property. So with that little summary here, let's go ahead and jump into our first new feature, which are DigiSign updates. All right, guys. So here I am logged into my Skyslope demo account. Now, keep that in mind as I move through here today. All of the information I'm providing is mock information. The first thing that I want to touch on, of course, is DigiSign, our gorgeous new DigiSign tool. Now, when I jump in here, you'll notice right away that this DigiSign looks a little bit different than the past. That is simply because this guy got quite an upgrade, but the process is still going to be very similar. You'll go ahead and start off with a new envelope, and you can either choose a property or hit no property. Today, we're going to use no property here. And I'll just go ahead and upload a sample form off of my desktop. Perfect. So I'll go ahead and grab this form here. Upload that right into DigiSign. Notice the ability to apply templates. But for now, let's go ahead and hit Next since we're working from scratch. Here I have the ability to enter in recipients. I can cater a signing order. So let's just go ahead and do demo at masterclass. There we go. Now here within DigiSign, one thing we did also add is going to be this ability to add in new recipients. Now here, this is nice because you can build out an internal directory. 
I'll go ahead and keep this as that recipient for now, and it'll allow me to now further fill out this field. Now that was kind of a quick action. So when you type in that email address, go ahead and hit enter, and it will present you with this field. So we'll just go ahead and do Miss Sally Seller here. And once again, we'll just do demo at masterclass.com. Perfect. Now here I can decide if she needs to sign. We'll go ahead and say yes and hit save. So we'll see her appear on the left or the right side. Now I'll also include myself. That just gives us some more fields to work with. That is perfect. I'm happy with these two signers involved in this envelope. I'll go ahead and click next. Perfect. Now, a few things to note here within DigiSign is this color coding system. So here I have blue, a light blue color, but later on, if I add more, I could end up with, you know, a purple, an orange, a teal, whatever that looks like. If I need to go back in and edit those recipients after the fact, you can do so here. And I also have the ability to draft an outgoing email. Now, for today's masterclass, what I really wanted to highlight here, you'll notice when I click on this signature, I have this dark blue that circles it. That's letting me know that this signature is now going to be assigned to myself here, who is also assigned that dark color. If I need to change that, I can go ahead and click on Sally. You'll notice this lightens substantially. And I'll place client signature. <clears throat> now here you can see it automatically adds a date stamp. You can update this under preferences if you would like to see that date stamp added rather than just a signature. But you'll notice here that as I maneuver through, when I do add a different field, that editing block will appear on the left hand. Now let's say I would like to add initials. Once again, that editing block appears. And let's go ahead and add some check boxes as well. I'll go ahead and add that. And you'll notice I have a few more options. Now our checkbox feature was a huge request from our agents. So just wanted to take a moment during today's masterclass. I can now go ahead and indicate that we've got a collection of five. And it gives me the abilities to select at least, at most, or exactly. I'm also going to have some block actions available and the ability to either check by default or mark as read only. So guys, again, we heavily listen to our agents when it comes to making SkySlope the most value add to your day. So these abilities to cater your checkboxes accordingly is a huge ask, big request. So we're really excited to be launching this new feature here within DigiSign. Now, if I want to go ahead and select all of the fields, what I do is simply hold my mouse down and drag it across all of the added blocks. From here, I also have block actions that I can do in bulk. So if you have many different documents that all require that same formatting, super easy there to copy. And then you can go ahead and paste it on your next form. All right, guys, so those are our few tips and tricks here available within DigiSign. Again, we went ahead and added more capabilities around your checkbox. We upgraded DigiSign overall here from your main dashboard and give you a lot of those same capabilities that you're used to, along with quite a few extra. So this is all available for you to try here today. I'll go ahead and remove those fields for now. I'm actually going to hit exit. You'll notice it saves this as a draft for me. That is just fine. Let's go ahead and maneuver right on back to our main SkySlope uh, transaction management tool. Now, the second thing we mentioned within our masterclass slides is our ability to add new natural hazard disclosures. So for today's demo, I'll go ahead and create a listing and we'll take a look at where that's located within the platform. So this is Sky, we'll go ahead and enter our listing. And since we are not starting with our forms tool, today I'll go ahead and just enter this information in manually. Perfect, I've got, let's go ahead and we'll use Davis over here. That is perfect, I can switch to manual entry as well. Oh, you know what? 
let's go ahead. We'll use a different property. This is beautiful, but not the one that I am looking for. We just want to use a demo property for today. Perfect. We'll use this 2030 10th Street. And for today's demo, again, I'm using a demo account. So I'll just select this here. Select resale. Of course, your brokerage will customize what type of listings you're working with. And we'll just go ahead and give ourselves a nice big price tag. We love to see that right before the holidays. Now here we'll go ahead. I'll switch this to a percentage more typical in California, but let's go ahead and add 2.5 on each side. Moving forward, we'll give ourselves some listing dates. And last but not least, I'll include my client's information. And I'll just go ahead and enter in some mock information here. There we go. All right, so let's talk about these NHDs, these natural hazard disclosures. So we're really excited to be adding a few more partnerships here within our NHD ordering system. So if you are in an area where you would like to go ahead and generate that natural hazard disclosure and invoice, of course, title escrow to upload to your file, it's as easy as that. So here you'll just simply be able to select any of the providers that you're used to working with. Keep an eye out. We've got three more that are coming right after the uh, first of the year. I apologize. I was hoping to have that list in front of me. But here we have all of our natural hazard disclosures that you can select from. For today, I'll go ahead and say, no thanks, Sky. Oops. And it will lead me into our next feature release here, which is the ability to enter in your preferred title or escrow contact. So here you can see I can search by name. Right now, it's, rec it's recommending quite a few from this Chicago Title Insurance Company. They're all located here in Sacramento, California. Now, I actually have a preferred contact, so I can go ahead and search for them by name. You'll see that Ms. Sati will appear underneath here for me, and I can choose to default this contact for future listings. Now, alternatively, if you do not see your preferred contact pop up here in this list, you could always choose to add them as a new contact. So if you're doing this individually, this is a great opportunity here to go ahead, enter in your preferred. And you also then have the ability to check as default. So once you load in your preferred contact, go ahead and select them as a default here. I am happy with my selection. And when I move forward, you'll see this email is all ready to go. So this is nicely pre-drafted for me. It contains this property's information along with my seller. They can reach out to me if they have any questions. And I can also attach any additional documentation here. So this is the exact email that they're used to receiving. Go ahead, check that default so that when you're doing this within Skyslope, it is just a couple of clicks. Now I'll choose to go ahead and pre-open escrow. You'll notice down at the bottom, it'll add this line item for me and I can go ahead and create my listing. Perfect, I also have confirmation. Listing details are sent on over to that officer and I'll jump right on over into this log. So keep in mind guys, when you add a contact or you select to default that escrow officer, You'll also be able to reference this information over here in the log. So you're confirming all of this is taken care of, all done within the same moment that I created this property file. So it really is just that quick, guys. Very simple. Uh, what we covered here today, once again, we've added some new features here within that amazing DigiSign tool. So jump in, give some of those new, new tools a try. Here within your SkySlope property files, we are adding new natural hazard disclosure partners. So feel free if this is a shortcut that you would like to take advantage of, now is definitely the time. And of course, you also have the ability to pre-open escrow. And we've now given you the ability to enter in your own escrow contacts information and default them. So it's a one-click process. So with that, guys, I'll go ahead and pull my presentation here right back up. 
and challenge you to next steps. So here, when you jump into your own Skyslope account, I recommend add your preferred escrow or title contact in and set them as a default for future listings. It takes two seconds to jump in and take care of this, but you will thank yourself in the long run. Additionally, if you would like to join any of our other master classes or see any of the classes that we've done in the past, you can hop on to learn.skyslope.com. So I'll go ahead and drop that in the chat for my attendees. Now we have a section on this site here that leads you right on over to our master classes. We'll go ahead and upload this video along with any of the ones that we've done in the past. They're currently hosted there as well. So you can join in, grab a nice 15 minute overview of new features or simply uh, great time savers that we have available here within your Skyslope account. And that is going to wrap up our session here for today. Once again, thank you so much, guys, for jumping on and attending. Uh, I challenge you again to jump in, add that preferred title or escrow contact, set them as a default. And if you have any questions, happy to address those. Feel free to drop those in the chat. If you choose to hop off, thank you so much for attending. Uh, we will not have a masterclass next Wednesday, but we will be starting right after the first of the year with our next Wednesday session. So look forward to seeing you here soon. And of course, happy sky sloping.